Okay, hello dear friends. This video I will explain some of the brushes. One friend asked me what about this uh, uh, xie zhao. Xie zhao. It's in my mother's way of calling it is xie zhu, xie zhao. And in some part is xie zhua. Zhua is the hand, is the claw actually, the animal's hand, a claw. And the xie zhua is a crab claw. So you can see the shape and character and uh, and the color is a little bit like uh, crab's claw, right? I will uh, let you see what is the, um, the uniqueness of it. Actually, all these brushes, they are all good and uh, all can be used for many purposes. And this one is called Xie Zhao. It's called Crab Crow because it has a similarity of its shape. And uh, you can see there are one, two, three layers of hair. One layer with this black. Are we in the right zoom? Sorry. Okay, kind of in the right zoom, right? So there is one layer of this black hair. Do this way. I am sorry for. Okay, so you can see here is one layer of this black hair, black hair layer, and white hair layer, and then the center layer of this long and slender. They are all good hair. They are all um, animal hair. If you are vegetarian or animal protection mist, maybe you will not use uh, this kind of brush. And you will buy synthetic brush. I, it's just a fact that some people will, some people, anyway, yeah, I will not talk too much more about it. It's animal hair. And you can see when you open it up, let me use this this water. You can open it up, you can see the three layers of hair. So it's like uh, when we do a crab, right? One, two, this is a crab. And uh, kind of it, right? So you can see here there are a lot of hair and less hair and to the very thin end. And uh, the particular character of this is that the, the many hair parts, it can hold a lot of water. It's like what we use in the cartridge. <clears throat> cartridge pen it holds a lot of uh, a lot of ink so it keeps your ink colors consistency always have uh, enough storage or reservoir of uh, of ink and at the very end it's very thin and slender you can get this beautiful slender like knife joke so when you do a gumbi outline This paper does not uh, do justice for this brush because it get dried immediately. So you can do here thin strokes. If I use ink, this will be. And you can do this long and slender lines do a flower line. You slant it a little bit of the brush, it becomes thicker. And you straighten the brush, it becomes so thin. Cannot even see. Uh oh. We have to go no more than three. Can you see? So thin. So this is a xie zhao. This is this brush. It is good, it contains a lot of water, but uh, if 
it's not a must. None of these brushes are must. You can always find substitute for others if you are really like this shape, like this, uh, like this uh, uh, particular uh, name or something. Go ahead, get it. Otherwise, if uh, in the budget, then do not really necessary to try this. There is. A, this is one of my philosophy in life. There is always something else that can also do the job. Here is another one. It's Gong Bi Cao Chong. Gong Bi Cao Chong. Cao is grass. Chong is uh, is um, um, is uh, um, insects. So little grass insects is for painting Chinese. Insects, and it's almost the same characteristic as uh, as the xie zhuo, as the other one. You can do very very thin line, and it's a shorter the hair, so it's much easier to control. Because when you wear, when you use a long, very long hair brush. It's like wearing high heel shoes. It's pretty, it's elegant, but it's not easy to walk, right? And this one is very, it's not a totally flat, um, flat shoes, it's, uh, but it's so much easier. Let's say it's a wedge shoes. <laughs> so this one is smaller to, to draw smaller. Ones and this one is larger. Larger is the crab, crab, uh, claw, and this one is a little insects. And I have many other brushes. I will demonstrate later on one by one. And in case of what you get for a starter set of Gongbi brush, all these brush are good. But I think you. If you want to do gongbi drawing, you want to do something smaller. You find a small brush for gongbi outlining. And wh white hair brush is a white cloud, is always good. So take out this white cloud. <coughs> and one wolf here. I think uh, oh, this one is so beautiful. I must have something opened up already. They are all good brushes. It's a kind of a hard to say which way one is better than the other. Anyway, I actually want to make a demo of this. So here is the white cloud, little white cloud. Most of my painting is done in little white cloud because it's inexpensive, it's very soft, and it has its own uh, strength inside. It's just one of the perfect all-purpose brush, and uh, it's a very humble brush, and you can do it for whatever thing, and uh, very nice. So I like to use white cloud, and it... It is relatively soft, not the softest, but it's good enough to apply color. So when you apply a lot of color, so it absorbs a lot of color. And you can slowly add in colors. When you, and also when you want to do something quite sharp, you can see this one can get some sharp line. And this paper, again, does not do justice of this brush. When you do an ink, it can be much thinner. So white cloud is one thing you want to have. And another thing is this. Um, this is a Shi Huan Xian Bi. It's an outline brush, but pretty long, this one. It's newly not opened, and this one is opened. Let's take a look. 
soaking water. Okay, you can see it's very, you can feel the hair is oh, a little bit of the hair loosen up. It's okay. This happens. Oh, oh, I have used the blue color on it. So I will not use this paper now. Use another piece of paper. So let's see how we can do. This one has a very, very, very thin and slender line. See? Also good. But it's too long. For a new hand, very young hand, maybe this one is even better. It's a shorter hair, easy to control. And the sharp. And relatively soft, very easy to manipulate. It's a very good one. Okay, so, and also different kind of small hair brush. I will put them all on to my, uh, my shop. You will see from the link. They are all good. They are all more or less the same. Some people like to collect brushes, so have more kinds, but one or two, one wolf hair, one, you want to have a mixture of different hair, right? Wolf hair, this is a, a wolf hair, long, long, it's actually not a real wolf, no. Wolf is already almost extinct, so, yeah, I think kind of like this. And uh, it has a uh, strength and get a lot of color in. So anyway, I will do a small starter set, special Gongbi starter set for small delicate drawing and uh, link onto onto the description of this video. Okay. It's very enjoyable to do this. Oh, oh, use white wood. It's very enjoyable to do this. Uh okay, now let me keep on with my ranting. Pure Shan. Shan Shui Hua Bi. This is for Shan Shui for landscape painting, and very it it has strands on the hair. Those are the brushes that my mother used to buy, and they are from um, from Rong Bao Zhai. Rong Bao Zhai is one of the most famous Chinese art supply in Beijing and uh, every time when I go back to Beijing this summer I will go back again no matter I need to buy something or not I always visit there and this one is Yu Jin pure gold hair beautiful and larger size and this one is mixed hair Chang Feng Hua Niao this one is uh, for flower and bird but longer one. And this one is Da Bai Yun, I think. Oh, Bing Qing Yu Jie. Look at this. This is so beautiful, this brush. Anyway, they are all on my website. And I will include a starter set for Chinese. Uh, uh, a starter set for Chinese. Uh, for, for, for Gongbi painting. Okay. Thank you very much. I enjoy doing this. Use a smaller brush. It's very, very, very easy to control and manipulate. It's very, very fun. This one relatively is a little bit large, too large. This one is relatively too long. Things like this, it's so comfortable. And nothing compare with my little white cloud just so easy all my landscape all these are done by this little white cloud like this 
Okay, bye bye, friends. Okay, starter set, starter gumbi set. I will put this, this white cloud, and uh, and uh, a little little uh, orchid bamboo. Okay, this is what I thought of a starter set of uh, of gumbi. Usually, gumbi you do not do it too large, right? This is the size like. Uh, a4 paper size or A3 paper size, this is sufficient and comfortable. Thank you very much. And as for the color, just use normal Chinese painting color. And, um, here is the brand. This is a Chinese painting color with, uh, with 12. One, two, three with 12 or 18 colors oh, 12 color and uh, I have some individual colors something like white yellow a lot of color use more than others white you use more than others yellow gamboge yellow and uh, indigo blue and uh, some color you use more and also some particular color that uh, of the chart of normal color chart I have them but anyway this is a good this is a sufficient it's not the very expensive the best quality one but uh, very sufficient most of uh, most of uh, the artist most of artists use this kind of Chinese painting color and it will be linked you you can see it thank you very much